Welcome to Small Town Big Deal. We've traveled across the country and firmly believe that the people in small towns are the hands that keep America strong. So join us, Rodney Miller and Jan Carl, as we show you the great things these people do on Small Town Big Deal. Welcome to Small Town Big Deal. I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. We are in Shelbyville, Indiana to tell the story of a place whose handcrafted work has made its way into the homes of presidents. Like FDR and Eisenhower. And even Hollywood stars. Yeah, like Clint Eastwood and Oprah Winfrey and soon to be Jan Carl. Ooh, I should be so lucky. <laughs> We're at the Old Hickory Furniture Company. In today's culture of mass production, it remains unique, still building every piece you see here by hand. This is such a cool place. I mean, what's it feel like to get to work here every day? It's fun. We have a lot of things going on. Everything is different every day. Everything is historic. You can't go to a modern day factory and see people making stuff by hand like you see here. These folks are continuing an American handcrafted tradition that's been happening here since 1899. And the company's reputation for quality still travels far from its hometown. Shelbyville is in central Indiana, some 30 miles southeast of Indianapolis. They've kept going through two world wars, the Great Depression, and 18 presidents. It seems this company is about as tough as the wood they make their furniture out of. Why hickory? Hickory is the hardest wood in North America. It was used in early years as wagon wheel spokes. It's such a hard wood. It was used as golf clubs. Babe Ruth used it for his baseball bat when he was hitting all his home runs. Did you know that President Andrew Jackson was nicknamed Old Hickory? Because <laughs> he was tough, just like the wood. And the great thing about our furniture My is... My dad used it to switch me with. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to bring that up. You know, and it got used a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Behind the factory are stacks and stacks of hickory saplings, the raw material for what becomes the company's prized products. The furniture's going to last and last and last, like the chairs that we see all over the National Park Lodges. In 1906, chairs were shipped to the Old Faithful Inn at Yellowstone, and the same chairs are still there in use today. And these chairs at Craig's Lodge in Colorado are the very ones Old Hickory delivered in 1920. <gasps> and I'm thinking, that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing for the customers. This chair is going to outlive me, my kids, and my grandkids. Not that many repeat customers, though. I don't know whether to say congratulations or I'm sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we both have seen it at FDR's Warm Springs house. Yes, yeah. yes. His little retreat Lots of famous places. Here, President Harry Truman's wife, Bess, and her friends enjoy them at Camp David. These durable pieces are made only after being ordered. But today, with just a teeny bit of help, they're letting Rodney and me build one of their popular hoop chairs. Randy, what are we doing now? Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pull a chair. I like that phrase, we're going to pull a chair. All right. <laughs> the process begins at the wood pile, Four. picking the pieces needed to create a chair. The back of it's got the big hoop that goes yeah. all the way around the arm, so we need a hoop. We need and we're talking a big here. piece for the hoop, seven Fairly feet straight. long Fairly to be straight. exact. So it's just kind of gentle curve, that's okay. Gentle curve is fine, because we're going to actually bend it okay. all, all the way around. You're he's going to bend it. He's going to bend it. I not going to have Wheaties this morning. Okay. <laughs> this, we're going to turn into a chair. Uh-uh. We're going to turn this into an heirloom. That's right. Before bending the wood, it spends four hours in near boiling water. It's kind of like when you put pasta in the boiling pan. Yes. You do not want it to splash on you. You do not want it to splash. <laughs> it will take your skin off. Wow. Take this out. Lock the lever. Lock it in. Go, Rodney. Go, Rodney. Lock it over. You did it. Woo! Now you just tie it off. He did good. Yeah? Yeah. Next, Rodney evens the legs. Next, we're going to sand. Rodney gets to cut. I just have to push the car. Bark must be made smooth, but still remain on the wood. Maybe I could put you in there and, you know, kind of get rid of your rough edges. <laughs> you did that on purpose. Ah, hey. now I see the chair. Now you see the chair. And now it's time to stain the wood and wipe it down. It looks good. Soon it will look even better as the very talented Marta Jimenez shows us how to weave the back of the chair using nearly a hundred feet of rattan. You think you got the hang out? <laughs> Find the end of it. There's no end. There's an end. Now you're gonna weave through here, go around and follow the other one. 
Whoops. <laughs> There's a little too much muscle. So I could get a chair done like in a month. And Martha can get this back done in about 45 minutes. Oh, 45 minutes. 45 Sorry. minutes? Yeah. Really? Everything they make is labor intensive and it's not just chairs. So somebody can actually like sketch something on a piece of paper and say, can you make this for me? Yes, people send it on a napkin. They can email it. They can send it in the mail. As Barb and I worked on finishing our chair, I suddenly realized that Rodney had disappeared. I don't see Rodney. Have you seen him in a while? No, I haven't. Rodney? Have you seen Rodney? I haven't seen him in a long time. Rodney? Have you seen Rodney? Nope, haven't seen him. Hey, a guy can get tired after all that work. And these chairs are so comfortable. You're sleeping on the job. I got the last few steps done. Hey, if they didn't make such comfortable chairs. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Did you do this? This is nice. Do we ask Randy if it's sellable? Well, not quite yet, because we still got to put the brass tag on it. Hey, success. Yeah, success, you got one. We do got an order for about a thousand chairs coming through. You want to stay around? <laughs> Hey, you look comfortable. That's good. On behalf of Old Hickory, we want to give you guys this chair. <gasps> Since you made it from start to finish, wow. we want to give you this chair. What's Jan going to get? <laughs> well. I knew that was coming. Who are told that an Old Hickory hoop chair can go for as much as $1,000. But we like to think ours is priceless because we'll always have a story to tell about how we helped make it. Yeah, I thought it was going to go to my house first. No, it's going to go to my house first, isn't it? Is it going to go to my house first?